Breaking news, my country people. Gumi sends strong warning to President Tinibu. The famous Islamic cleric Ahmed Gumi has warned that some policies of the, pres of the present administration led by President Bola Tinibu are capable of destroying the nation if not reversed. Now, Gumi stated that if those tough policies are not reversed, it may even destroy the government. He urged the president to consult experts before implementing certain policies, saying he would not depend on psychophants. He also said President Tinibu should have to reverse his policies. If not, his policies certainly are going to destroy this nation and they are going to destroy this government. Your economic and political policies, you have to review them. You have to ask people who know better and not depend on these people that don't know anything. Well, my country people, this is very, you know, serious. I mean, a whole Sheikh Ahmed Gumi warning the present administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinibu to be very, very careful. I mean, we know the policies he was, you know, he's referring to when we talk about the removal of the fuel subsidies starting from there. I think that's the major, you know, issue Tinibu's government is facing at this moment. Now, aside the removal of the fuel subsidy, Tinibu's led ECOWAS. They are planning on, you know, going to war with Nijei. And uh, I can tell you that so many Islamic clerics, you know, they have kicked against this. They have kicked against this because they know this would bring, you know, a lot of damages. I'm not talking about, you know, what will happen in Nijei. Also, it would affect Nigeria. It will certainly affect Nigeria. So, a lot of people have been calling that, oh, Tinibu should review his policies, oh, because Nigerians, we are yet to face our, you know, we are, we are battling with our problems and we don't want to get involved with that of Niger. And we know that uh, an invasion on Niger by Tinibu-led ECOWAS will surely lead to a lot of crisis. It would lead to a lot of crisis. So Tinibu has been advised to review his policies. Now, Tinibu has a lot of policies. So we've not even talked about the palliative, my country people, the palliative. This palliative where we say people don't, they say, now, nah, wow, the thing never begin reach our hand, though, waiting they happen. Where Tinibu don't talk, say, Ingo, share rice, and the, who knows, 2K, I be one five to poor household. How do they get to know the household or the people that are very, very poor that needs this money? Yes, we've heard that uh, they've added in some states, they've added, you know, some token to some civil servants, you know, to their salaries. But that aside, what about the poor people? The poor masses that really need this palliative. And even if this money gets to them, how, for how long is this money going to sustain them? For how long? Tinibu's government, they were proposing 8,000 Naira for, you know, each person in about a how is it 12 million household or so they budgeted 8000 naira but when they did the total estimates they found out that that 8000 naira would not go round and even if this money is to go round it will have to go down to either 1500 or 2000 naira so tinibu should really you know review his policies and know what he is doing because certainly this policy is, is affecting his government and uh, Tinibu's government is just, you know, let's say three months, barely three months and a lot of things are happening in this country. Everywhere has been turned upside down. Tinibu needs to review his policies so that they won't destroy the nation. We talk about Niger. Niger has their own problems. Tinibu is trying to poke nose with the ECOWAS, you know, with the ECOWAS. And uh, we know that a lot of consequences would really befall those countries that are going to wage war against Niger. It will come with a lot of casualties, and Tinibu's government doesn't want that. So Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has sent a strong warning to the president 
to lay low for now. He shouldn't destroy the nation. Most of his policies that he has implemented, he should reverse them so this country won't be torn, you know, up upside down. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? However, Nigerians have reacted. This man should be arrested. He thinks he can manipulate Tinibu the same way he did to uh, Buhari. Gumi, the spokesman of the terrorist Boko Haram bandit, please allow the present government to put things in the right perspective. What the former president has spoiled for eight years, Nigerians are ready and prepared to bear the pains because they say no pain, no gain. And remember that whatever you stole, whatever you sow, I beg your pardon, will be ripped and your conscience and that of others will continue to haunt you and judge you. Please, look at this man telling us how to allow Tinibu to destroy the nation. So, what did Buhari did? What did Buhari do? Okay, Gumi is right. Forget about the tribes being a Yoruba. That doesn't mean we shouldn't support or speak the truth. What has the knowledge of your so-called expert come to? When Buhari was implementing policies that was capable of destroying this nation, none of you came out to challenge it. Now you should go and tell your Boko Haram friends that they should allow Nigeria to rest. Is it because Tinibu is not promoting terrorism, Abi? Well, Tinibu is biased. I believe he's educated. If he's educated, he knows that Buhari doesn't want him to succeed him in the first place. Okay, hunger don't the wire Ahmed Gumi, Emefele, his partner in crime, no longer CBN governor. He is cooling his feet in detention. We all know the problem is not government policies, but possible military intervention in Niger, where Gumi's Fulani attack group resides. Okay, guys, these are some few reactions from Nigerians. So, my country people, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on Gumi's warning to President Bolad Metinibo? Can you share your thoughts on this in the comments section? Thank you.